What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's a lot of flies around here, so excuse that. But you know, that's what happened. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be taking you guys with me on my journey to $10,000 in passive income. And this is going to be a continuous vlog series on my channel. Well, one of my goals this year is to make $10,000 in passive income, specifically from my business or creating content. My YouTube videos, uh, The Mystic Touch, where you can follow here and my personal content you know sponsorships or whatever as well as products that i can create like ebooks um i'm working on one right now in regards to raising your vibrations to manifest bigger and better blessings so if you would like to support me in any kind of way here are all of my socials and my businesses and things like that on today's agenda we are going to be dropping off an order um i'm gonna close it hold on in today's video we are going to be dropping off an order from my business and if you didn't see my previous video we packaged that order then and i kind of give you guys a life update and told you all a little bit about my business vlog which i am doing now um and then i'm going to be using the profit from my last um sell to create a new product or order something from my site so that i can create um more content for that but i think i might start working on my ebook you know and let y'all see that and i want to show you guys a little bit of my tiktoks and things like that and also take you through my editing process for my tiktoks we're going to be editing the video where i packaged my first order for my business page uh, that's on the agenda for today so what i'm doing right now i just finished editing the video you saw what i did package my order and i'm about to get that ready i'm about to get that ready to upload on youtube and i'm currently sitting outside with my babies my lovely lovely girls um they're just protecting me from all of these flies well maji now maji's sleeping and she is attached to her leash because maji will run away she is only one years old so she not trained this is our first like big dog and we didn't really know what we were doing so when she was coming up we didn't really walk her on a leash or give her much discipline so now we are trying to like instill that you know in her Knowing that she's a bigger dog i feel like it's going okay she's listening a little bit more and things like that and so maji is on the gate but trust me she is not sad she's not being held captive or being abused just to just to clear the air or just to clear the air just in case anybody was wondering i'm about to get these files uploaded on youtube and then while that is uploading we're gonna go ahead and head out to chip off this order okay computer is a little dusty or whatever but um got the file uploading i'm just gonna do my uh quick little title and stuff like that make my thumbnail once i get back in and start working on my other stuff so i can save time and prioritize right back to the end save next copyright no copyright really because i didn't put any music in here this video is going to go on private and then it is currently uploading uh oh yeah let me put this on the charger that's gonna upload while we go drop off this order so i am currently wearing like some casual clothing but i might switch the fit Not the fit i might put on something a little more cuter because i don't know if you follow me on tiktok but your girl manifested some Birkenstocks and I just want to show the universe I'm grateful for them and I might switch what I'm wearing to match my new sandals that I manifested. Oh, well a pair of my new sandals that I manifested. Um, If you don't follow me on TikTok, go watch it so you can follow my journey. And again, like I said, I am working on a manifestation ebook. Um, This is what I'm currently wearing. It's not even an outfit, I swear. I just put this on to bring my baby to school. It's just these sweatpants. I took my socks off because I was outside sunbathing. My Crocs and a black tee. I feel like I'm gonna wear a pair of sandals. It's kinda hot outside, but it's also a little windy. So I'm gonna go in my closet and I'm gonna come back and show y'all the fit. Okay, y'all, I'm dressed and ready. I'm about to show y'all the fit. So I'm wearing this dress from Shein, case bay bag, and my new Birkenstock. And I just have on a bucket head, of course, in true Jeremiah fashion. May or may not be working on the bucket head design for the bin, all the old. But uh, yeah, uh, we have the package, pack and slip, and my phones, and the water bottle, of course. And we're gonna be out the door. Let's go, my mouth. Mal. It's gonna be real quick. We are in the Kizar on our way to the post office. It's kind of hot out here, so it's probably going to fall while I drive. So I'm going to let y'all know when I get to the post office and I'm going to see if I have the balls to vlog in a, which I probably don't. Drop the Mystic Touch. 
this is our clear quartz bracelet and this is our moonstone they are both 867 right now the whole site is 22 percent off no code needed go ahead and shop with me only around me when it's beneficial it's my time to be free so i just got to the post office and I absolutely have no idea what I'm even going in here to do or say. But um, I'm going to try to ask as many questions as I can as far as like uh, shipping things out for my business. And how I can get like a flat rate with that or something like that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm asking. But I'm going to ask them if they have like some papers or something that I can, you know, read over or something. In regards to like shipping for businesses and stuff like that. But really not going to bring the camera in there. I'm not that bold. I'm about to go run in here and do that real quick. And then I'll be right back out. Okay, I just dropped the package off and I got my windows rolled down because my AC is obnoxiously loud. But um, I just dropped my package off and it was a smooth, seamless process. The man actually told me that I can just write my address and the address I'm sending my packages to on my actual packages. I don't know, I feel like that takes away from like the actual packaging. So I might go ahead and get a printer to print that out. But I don't want to be spending too much money because I'm not making that much money yet for my business. But um, I'm going to go inside now and just go ahead and input the shipping info so that she can start you know tracking her uh package and stuff but just for future references that's what i was you know asking him about um so yeah i think i'm gonna just go ahead and write on the packages in the meantime or get some type of sticker and put it on there myself or type it up like a cricket machine or i could use those stickers that i had found from a uh, dollar tree and do that just to keep it nice and seamless and so that it can be an easier process once orders do start coming in consistently but yeah, I'm on my way home, y'all. Um, about the vibe. I just realized I haven't eaten anything, so I'm probably gonna get there and eat some food. Uh, we're gonna get to, and then we're gonna get to um creating the ebook and editing the other content. So I'm gonna see y'all there. Alrighty, y'all. We inside now. About to just get on Shopify and input her shipping info and fulfill this order. And my receipt right here. I did want to add something else for my own manifestation ebook. I had some ideas when I was driving back home. Just went ahead and input that. Um, by the insert this traffic traffic number, tracking number. That's confirmed. I can see myself doing this. <laughs> I can do this. Girl, this girl's so rude. I can see myself doing this. Okay, so um, so what I did learn about the shipping is the price of the shipping is going to depend on the zone that it's being shipped to, and I'll see how the prices change as I like ship further away. But I think I might go ahead and stick with USPS just because it's the most familiar. I kind of know how to deal with them. I'm not sure, but um, I'm definitely gonna do a little more research as far as like Shopify shipping because that is like integrated into your store already, and I just want to make the best of what I am paying for. It's $40 a month, so I would want to use that. So let's go ahead and fulfill it. Items fulfilled, paid, and it's shipped. Let me go ahead and track. Make sure this is the right tracking number. Yep. So, got that done. Uh, next on the agenda is to eat some food, but let me see what's the next thing. I added my manifestation key. Uh, let's see. Dropping off the order. I introduced the journey. Um, and then creating a new product. So we're gonna edit the TikTok video and hold on. Next, edit TikTok video. Make them know. And then we're gonna work on creating um the ebook and doing some research about that and looking at some layouts and stuff on camera. So I'm gonna make my food and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm eating. Wait, I know I said I was about to eat, but. I was about to take my clothes off, then I realized I could get a couple of pictures. So, my sweetie is about to take some flicks for me. I'm gonna let y'all see that. Alright, y'all, I'm eating right now. I was about to go make that burger, but I forgot my boyfriend made a breakfast this morning and I didn't ever get a chance to eat mine. So I'm eating that right now. I'm about to start editing my TikTok video of me uh, packaging the order. I was about to edit in CapCut, but I think I'm editing TikTok because I heard that 
editing in the TikTok app makes your videos do better. So I think I just edited one of the best pieces of content I ever edited in my life. I'm about to let y'all watch it. This is um, a video I did packaging an order with me that I filmed in my last vlog for my business page. I'm thinking about leaving the sound on so it could be like ASMR, but. want to get my camera checked out because i don't know what's up with it so yeah i just finished editing what i just showed y'all i'm about to get on my computer do my thumbnail for uh my video i'm gonna upload that tiktok for my business today so i'm about to make my thumbnail and then i'm a little confused with these camera settings i ain't gonna lie that's okay okay i just finished making a thumbnail for my video this is how it looks but of course you can always go and see it because it is posted right now. While I get that video ready to be posted, I just want to talk a bit about um, this TikTok video that I posted right here. And I just want to say that uh, if you're watching, thank you so very much. I really have felt like a shift in my mindset lately. Inspirational dissatisfaction. Like, I'm just tired of being tired. Like, I've been in business and opening up all these different businesses and doing YouTube on and off for the past, I would say, since 2019. That's five years, I think. Um, and I'm really just tired of being tired. And now that I'm a mother, I realize, like, if I don't do it, not even not just for myself, but if I don't do it, nobody's going to do it for me. And I don't want my baby to be unhappy with his life i don't want him to be unhappy with the effort that i put in and i don't want my troubles and my traumas and my failures to become his i don't want to leave my child with a mountain of debt because i do have debt from student loans and i don't want him to be wanting for anything okay and i know that like i was saying in my previous video I battle between going to work and staying home. The only way I can get the results I want to see with my businesses is if I start putting forth the effort. And once I'm at home and I'm working on my businesses, things are quote unquote slow. And I'm not, I feel like I'm not inspired enough to keep creating. And then I go back to work. And then I get to work and it's like, oh, they draining me. Let me go work on my business. And I start working on the business. And then it's like a back and forth cycle. So, like I said, <laughs> it was like I'm feeling like I'm tired of being tired of like the same cycle so it's either I'm gonna make this happen and I'm gonna have to get over being afraid of looking stupid and failing or ain't nothing gonna happen or ain't nothing gonna happen at all so not trying is failing but the more that I do try if I do quote unquote fail the closer I can get to what it is that I'm actually supposed to be doing so I'm not gonna be scared and run back to what I think it's going to get me to where I want to go, which is going to get a job and just thugging it out and da-da-da-da. I'm going to bust my behind and do it the way I really want to do it. And I have to, well, I had to change my mindset from, oh, yeah, it might, it might, it might, to I know I'm going to make it happen. It's going to happen because I'm putting forth the effort to make it happen. So here we are on the road to 10K, and that's what this series is about. So like I said, if you are watching and if you're tuning in, thank you so much. Um, like I said, always plug my social medias. And if you have any businesses or socials that you would like me to follow or you want to inform us about, leave them in the comments below. And um, yeah, I hope that this journey can inspire, inspire someone to do the same and to believe in themselves or their business business or businesses um you don't need nobody else you don't need anybody else and i want you to know that just how you don't need anybody else to help you go forward i want you to know that if you are being held back you're probably the reason as well so yeah road to 10k is gonna happen because i'm making it happen 
so yeah i posted my last video the last thing i have to do is to start working on this ebook so um oh i have to post that tiktok video for my business let's get that done pack an order with me We know that to upload and then we're going to start on this ebook. So hold on. Okay, y'all. I just uh promoted my um my YouTube video. Promoted. I just posted uh my YouTube video and I put the links and stuff on my socials. Actually I didn't share it to Twitter. Let me go share it to Twitter real quick. But while I do that, um, oh, I'm about to start working on my ebook and look at some of these uh, templates on Canva. And I'm trying to see how many pages I want to do. I'm just going to try and like write out a layout for the book because I do have a couple of different topics I want to touch on in the actual ebook. So, of course, I got to have an intro for, you know, the book myself. I'll say intro. I'm going to say like, what's that called when people trust you? I'm going to say rapport slash trust building. And then after that, we're going to talk a little bit about manifestation. Are the table of contents before the intro or after? I know I'm going to do a table of contents somewhere in between the intro. Be for real. Okay, I'm going to do the intro, table of contents, and then we're going to talk about manifestation. So that's three pages. Well, you know, three different sections there. Second is going to be the ways to start a... You know, start raising your frequency and getting in preparation for manifestation. And then I'm just going to start going through them. And we're going to start with like the simple physical ones and then get more deep into the spiritual practices. Because, you know, you make it through these, you can get to that. Alright, we're going to start with the clutter. I finished the framework. The most important step of manifestation, in my opinion, is to be, is to have a clear heart, right? To clear your heart chakra. So, um, at the end of this ebook, like I said, um, the tasks in this ebook are going to go from, are going to increase in difficulty as I tell them to you. So, the last step in the ebook is going to be the most difficult one, which is, like I said, to repair your heart chakra. And that's going to be the last step in this one but it's going to be what the next ebook is about so it's going to like bring you into my next product and hence like i said we're trying to build that passive income and a community as well as you know keep people purchasing on the website and continue to inform them so that's the um layout for this ebook i'm just going to look at the templates that we have on here something that i can fit what i want to portray to my well what i want to convey to my audience in so let's do that and see what we have okay so i have a couple of templates starred here um, most of them are ones with multiple pages and uh, I'm not sure which one I want to use yet I don't even have a scarlet color scheme in mind but I'm pretty sure I want to keep it nice and simple and straight to the point so that I can focus on actually putting useful information inside of the ebook and I also don't want it to be too long because again most people are going to be downloading this and reading this off of their phones and iPads and stuff like that so I want it to be nice, simple, and concise, but still informative. So what I'm going to do is just start on Google Docs and type out my ebook. So that's going to make this process way easier um, for me because after I type it out, I can make sure and look over my information and then just go in and put the actual info onto whatever template I choose or whatever template I tweak and create to match you know, my vibe. So... That's what I'm going to start doing. I 
all right so i just typed up the layout on google docs and um it's pretty much straight to the point i didn't really put my descriptions or my content for each page on here yet but this is a great start i actually have like 30 minutes till i have to go pick up my son so i am going to start working on this in the meantime and i'm going to end this video here thank y'all for spending the day with me roll to 10k we doing it it's over it's happening i already started it i can't stop now if anybody is trying to make major changes in their life join me let's get it y'all gonna see how this plays out because y'all come and do this journey with me so peace